Ann Schneider with Script Pro. I'm here with Bill Kane, Operations Manager at the University of Kansas Cancer Center Pharmacy. They've been using Script Pro's SP Telepharmacy system for sterile room med preps to help compound their chemotherapy drugs. Can you tell me a little bit about the process before and after you installed Script Pro's equipment? Yeah, before we had Script Pro, the technicians would take the chemo back into the clean room and um, they would compound the products and write on the label how much of the chemo they put in the bag or had on the syringe. And then they put the vials into a Ziploc bag and accompany that with the product for the pharmacist to check out in the ante room. Now with the Script Pro, uh, we take pictures of that compounding process and the pharmacist can view the pictures at different stages of that compounding rather than having the chemo accompany the final product. If you were talking to another pharmacy or hospital that was considering Script Pro's telepharmacy system, why would you tell them to install the equipment? Well, I think it provides a safer environment to keep the chemo, the cytotoxic drugs, contained back in the clean rooms and in the hoods uh, rather than bring them out with the products like we were doing. It also gives you assurance uh, of that compounding process when you can actually look at the different stages and steps that went the technician went through to create that compound. Hi, I'm Doug with Script Pro. Today we're at the University of Kansas Cancer Center and I'm with Debbie the pharmacist. And we're going to talk about SP Central and uh, the telepharmacy application. Debbie, can you kind of walk us through your basic process? Sure. Um, they sign a patient in, I check the order and process it, and it goes through Script Pro. I take the label back to the technician and they make it. And then um, after they're done making it, I pick it up and verify it and then hand it back to the nurse to give to the patient. Okay, Debbie, I see you got a new prescription. Can yeah. you just kind of walk us through the process? Okay. Uh, the nurse signs the patient in so that we know they're here and they're okay. ready to go. And then I'm going to pull up their treatment plan um, in the computer. This is coming across from your hospital pharmacy management system. Mm -hmm. As soon as you release that, that's going to show up in our script pro system based Correct. on the, the drug type or some some tag. Correct. Okay, so now it's going to print, mm -hmm. print the label and show up in our in the script pro system. I'll go back and get it and uh, give it to the technician. To Sounds good. Okay, once you have the label, what is our next step? Um, then I make sure that everything I wanted to print actually printed, and then I'll take it back to the technician, and they will prepare um, both. They'll prepare the pre-med first, and then the chemo BRB. Okay. Hi, I'm Ann Schneider with Script Pro, and I'm at the University of Kansas Cancer Center Pharmacy with Will Brown, one of their pharmacy technicians to watch him use Script Pro's SP Central telepharmacy system to compound chemotherapy drugs. Can you describe what I'll see today? Yes, basically uh, the pharmacist will input them into the computer. Um, they will bring the label back here. A technician will pick up the label. They will then go directly behind me, uh, gather the drugs that they need. They will then go into their clean room. They will gown up. Uh, they will use the computer system to actually compound the IV, and then the pharmacist will actually check and verify it. Hi, Will. I see you have a medication label here. Can you describe to me what's going on with this prescription? Uh, basically, the pharmacist has input the order into the computer, brought me the label back. Um, I will now go and collect the uh, drugs and any other products that I need to compound this. scrubbed and gowned now. Yes. You're getting ready to fill this prescription. Will you walk me through each step of the way as you compound it? Sure, I can do that. Thanks. Uh, first what we'll do is I'll sit down here, pull my drug out, I'll go ahead and fill out my label here, do any calculations that I need to do, any expiration dates. Then what I'll do is I'll grab the vial, 
scan it into the system. It comes up. What does scanning do with the system? Uh, basically what it does is, is, is it's a safety feature. Each individual drug has its own uh, particular barcode. So that way uh, it prevents me from filling the wrong medication on the wrong patient. Right. And what, what is Script Post System verifying that NDC against? Uh, basically what the pharmacist input uh, initially. Put our drug in the hood. Grab our label. Place it on the tray. And actually take a picture of it. Go ahead and place my tubing on the bag and prime it. Swab my vial top. Why did you do that? Basically, I was cleaning the tops off to make sure there was no bacteria on top of it. Put the needle on the syringe. What's the volume for this prescription? Uh, the volume is actually 27.5 mils. So I will draw that up to the syringe, take my label from the tray, and fix it to the bag. I will then place the vial on the tray, take a picture of the name of the drug, as well as the lot and expiration date, which are actually on the front of the vial, so we only need one picture. Then I will actually take a picture of the syringe drawn back to the, to the desired volume. I will now call the pharmacist and have them verify that this is the right volume drawn up and I will use the, the speaker system here. So they'd like to see that before you inject it into the bag? Is that sometimes, what you're calling? Sometimes they do, yes. Hi, Debbie, it is Will. Hey, would you like to verify that I've got the right volume drawn up in this syringe? Uh, I sure can. Hold on just a moment. Okay. It looks good. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. As you can see, the pharmacist verified that it is the right volume, so I'm now cleared to inject it into the bag, of which we will swab the port first. Inject the drug into the bag. Discard the syringe, rewipe the port, and then take a picture of the final product. I will now scan my badge, verifying that I have completed this order. take the product onto the pharmacist after I have discarded my waste here.